This machine is quick, accurate, user-friendly, and just a joy to use. We've come to a machine shop that needs to hit absolute accuracy, good surface finishes pretty much every day. Is that right, James? What kind of parts do you make here at Cross & Engineering? Yeah, so we're making uh, carbon core pits for molds, mold inserts and electrodes. Um, no, perfect. And what, does, what kind of components, what requirements do those components have? Yeah, so we have to achieve high surface finish, working to tight tolerances, and obviously you have to be efficient with time. Yeah, um, Absolutely, so you've got to get them turned around really quickly yeah, as well. Yeah, always under pressure. But it's not just about getting good parts out the door, these inserts and, and electrodes. It's, you've got other pressures as well, right? Yeah, so we're not just working the tight tolerances and high surface finishes, but it's also working the timeline and trying to meet customer uh, dates, deadlines. So the absolutely. rotors definitely helps with that. Okay, and the rotors helps. We've got a rotors VMC behind us. And what about this machine? Because these are very high spec machines. What about this machine do you need to be high specification? Yeah, so we're using the Renishaw probe. Uh, which takes out a lot of human error. Um, it's all automated, so there's less chance of making a mistake. Um, I personally find the setup very easy to use um, because it's, it almost prompts you. Um, you can use multiple datums, so <laughs> if you have multiple work pieces set up. Um, Absolutely, and there's, there's, that kind of starts to take out the human error out of the part setup, but what about the machine when it's actually running running and, and machining the part itself? What about the, the accuracy the machine can achieve? Yeah, so we're working to very tight tolerances with looking for certain fits for mold inserts or even if it's electrodes. So with the higher spindle speeds, uh, we can achieve the surface finish requirements or <coughs> even machining finer detail with smaller diameter cutters. Um, it's definitely improved our game that from that perspective. Absolutely, and has it changed in any way once, since the rotors landed? It was about four years ago the rotors yep. came on site. How has, has it changed any of the processes that you've generally, how you make the components that you've, you've been making Yeah, here? it's definitely, it's changed how we've planned out jobs. So we, would, we do a lot of sparking, but with the rotors, because we're able to machine finer detail, it's taken out the need for electrodes, um, because you can, you might as well finish it on the mill if it's being set up anyway, um, yeah. And what are the other benefits from reducing the number of steps involved in the process? So, from we're able to start and finish a job in the one machine, there's less chance of part setups being wrong, or datums being picked up wrong in, a, in another machine, so it's less chance of human error. Um, and it's obviously time efficient too. Absolutely, and do you like the fact that you can put a part in, uh, and because there's only one setup, you press the green button, you know it's going to be, the cycles are going to be going well, and you can kind of walk away and maybe work on something else. Yeah, definitely. So you can get the rotors teed up. There is safety precautions that when you're changing from different tool paths that you can probe the tool. So you're not worried about if you're leaving an overnight run, that if one cutter is broke, it's going to break the rest behind it because you have that safety feature. Uh, and it allows you then, you can go and work on something else while the rotors is running in the background. But it's not just about part setup. We can also use the Renishaw probe, almost like a CMM. Um, so if I was machining a mold insert, before I left the machine off, or before I left the insert off the machine, I can use the probe to take measurements. And then whenever I'm machining the bolster, I know what fit I'm looking for. And then for assembly, everything goes together as it should. So it's like having a CMM built in the machine center. So it means that you're able to inspect the parts before they're coming off the machine. And then whenever we get to the assembly stage, everything's going together as it should. Thank you. And so to round up what, how the road is kind of makes your life easy day to day when you're, when you're sleeping at night and you know it's running without you. Yeah. How did you know you can trust the rotors? Yeah, no, it's a joy to use. Um, it's just so accurate, so user friendly, and it does what you tell to do, which is important. <laughs> Brilliant. It does what it tells you to do. It's the RXP 500 from Rotors.